Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What's for Dinner. If you're new here, my name is Mandy. In these videos, I like to share with you what I make for my family of four. I hope you guys enjoy. So tonight for dinner, we are having grilled chicken. This is some that I meal prepped a while back. I think I did a video on it. Uh, this is Cuban marinade chicken. It was from Publix, I believe. So I just put the chicken in here, I froze it this way, and then whenever it was thawing out, it's marinating and everything. So I'm gonna pop it on the grill, and we were supposed to have loaded cauliflower, but I just don't have time now to make it. So I'm gonna make some pasta, which I'm getting my water boiling. Okay, so everybody else likes their pasta hot with just butter on it. I don't like it that way. So I am running mine under cold water and then I'll use Italian dressing on it and a little bit of cucumbers and maybe a tomato. This next meal is from my Skinny Taste Meal Prep Cookbook. It is slow cooker Italian pulled pork. What you need for this is olive oil, onion, carrots, celery, fresh parsley, garlic, dry white wine. I didn't have that, so I'm using the white wine vinegar, a can of crushed tomatoes, four pounds of a boneless pork butt or shoulder roast, bay leaves, and fresh thyme. So what I'm doing now is just cutting up all of those veggies and then in my skillet, I'm going to heat up the two teaspoons of olive oil. Now that the olive oil is heated up, I'm gonna go ahead and add in those veggies and add half a teaspoon of salt. I will cook these veggies for about eight minutes, stirring them around until they're nice and soft. And then I will go ahead and add in the garlic and cook that for about two more minutes until it's nice and fragrant. Now I'm adding in the white wine vinegar and I'll cook that down for about two minutes. So now the veggies are done. So I'm adding it to my crock pot and then I will add in the can of crushed tomatoes and mix that up nice and well. And here I'm just using my Kitchen Mama can opener to open the cans. I love that. I always have it linked down in the description. If you're looking for a nice Christmas gift or just a gift for someone that could use a handless uh, can opener. I love mine. So now I have seasoned my pork with salt on all of its sides. And I'm going to brown it for about four minutes on each side. And now that that's done, I'm now adding it to my crock pot. And then you'll see that I just kind of take the crushed tomato and veggie mixture and just get it all up onto the top of the pork. And then I'm going to add in my fresh thyme and my fresh bay leaves. I'll put the lid on it and cook it for about five hours on high or for about nine to 10 hours on low until the meat's nice and tender and it pulls apart really easily with forks. I actually used my Elec Holmes immersion blender and I will be doing a full review on this immersion blender later on. So I have not meal planned this week, so I have been kind of winging it on dinners. We are using stuff up out of the pantry, so that's always good. I'm gonna throw this on the grill, the beef smoked sausage, and I bought these a while back from Aldi, I think. Um, the sweet and smoky chipotle pinto beans. So I'm gonna put these in a pot and heat those up and then I have some rice in my instant pot cooking so that will be dinner hopefully these are good they sound good so that will be dinner okay, so I am still on the week of where I did not meal plan which is not good when it's dinner time but I am using up stuff that we've had in the pantry so I have some pasta I've had this for a while in the pantry. I bought it to make a recipe and I obviously never made that recipe. So I need to use that up. So I'm gonna make some mac and cheese, but I have some taco meat that I had out in the freezer. It's already made. I just need to basically heat it up. Uh, 
was. And I'm gonna put that into the mac and cheese and that is gonna be dinner. So I used just a little over half of the cheese, just cut it up into cubes. I put it into my pasta. I drained the pasta and everything. I put the cheese in here and like there's one piece of the cheese. So I'm just kind of mixing it around, letting it melt. And I did pour in some whole milk and I'll probably add just a little bit more. I'm not sure how much I added. And then I'll just mix this all up, keep mixing it until the cheese is nice and melted. And then I'm gonna put that taco meat in there, mix it all up and that is dinner. All right, so for dinner tonight, we are gonna have some broccoli soup, broccoli cheddar soup. And I am totally making this up as I go along. I'm gonna be using some heavy whipping cream, some mild cheddar cheese, chicken broth, my Irish butter from Aldi, which is like uh, Kerrygold. I have some parsley chopped up, some garlic, onions, all of my broccoli. This is where we're just getting really creative around here. <laughs> I have some Parmesan cheese already shredded. I have some smoked Gouda cheese. I'm gonna add uh, maybe three or four slices of that in there. And I'm gonna toss in this whole thing of diced ham. And I got this little bag of cheese. I'm gonna toss that in there as well. And of course, salt and pepper. And that's all gonna be done in my Dutch oven. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of butter in, let that melt. I will saute my onions. And then I'll put the garlic in and saute that up. Go ahead and have me a slice of Gouda cheese while I'm cooking. Mmm, so good. If your Aldi still has these silicone spoons, you need to get one and the fork. I love the fork. I used this to make pasta the other night. The other night, It was great. I love it. I also, I haven't used this yet, but this is a spatula to wipe down your mixer or blender, but that's really cool. And I thought, you know what? You could probably use this to get out like mayonnaise or something when you're almost out you could scrape the bottle maybe with that who knows i don't know i haven't used this one yet but these two i really like all right so my butter's melting wait and let that get all melted in there really need to get one of those little scraper things i forget what they're called to scrape up your veggies or whatever when you have them chopped but look here y'all using my spatula. So we're gonna saute these until they are nice and translucent. And then I'm gonna put the garlic in. You just wanna keep stirring these just so they don't like get stuck to the bottom of your pot and burn. Nobody likes burnt onions, especially burnt garlic, ew, gross. Mmm, those onions are smelling good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the garlic in. This is about, what I use? Three cloves of garlic minced. My onion was half of an onion. Mmm, that garlic. Do y'all like the smell of garlic when it's cooking? I absolutely love it. We love garlic around here. Mmm, it smells so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my chicken broth. I don't have a whole lot in this pot. or in this pot, in this, this container. So, give this one a good shake, open it up, and pour a little more. I'm just gonna scrape the bottom a little bit, get those little bits off the bottom there. Probably gonna need a little more. Just go ahead and use the whole carton, why not? I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit and I'm gonna go shred me up some of this Gouda cheese. I started shredding it. I'm just gonna tear it up. Who's got time for shredding, right? Let's add all this yummy broccoli in. And I'm gonna go in with the heavy cream. This would probably be good with like cream cheese, but I don't have any. I'll probably use about a cup, maybe, of heavy cream. 
And now I'm going to just add this diced ham. And go ahead and add the parsley. I have no idea how much that is. I'm going to let this come to a boil and then I'm going to turn it down a little bit and then I'll add in the cheeses and just let that kind of simmer for a little bit until the broccoli is good and tender. I'm going to add in a little bit of pepper. I'm not going to add any salt right now because of all the cheese that's going to be going in it. I don't want to make it too salty. So after the cheese goes in it and it cooks a little bit with the cheese, gets the cheese all nice and melted, then I will do a little taste test and see if it needs any more salt or not. I'm guessing it's probably not going to. Plus the ham that I put in there is really salty as well. So I don't wanna overpower it with too much salt, adding too much in the beginning. Cause you can always add more, but you can't take it out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in all the cheeses. Now, if you want your soup to be thicker, you can always decrease the amount of chicken broth that you use. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this down to medium low and I'm gonna put the lid on it and let it just simmer until we're ready to eat. Okay, so I don't like big chunks of broccoli in my soup. So I am gonna be using my Alec Holmes Immersion Blender. I like home sent this to me. I absolutely love it. I have been using it quite often. So I'm going to do, be doing a video showing a little more about this, but what I'm going to do is just use it right in the pot. I, I want to be careful though, so I don't scratch the bottom of it or anything of my Dutch oven, but this is going to basically just kind of I don't want to say puree, but chop up those broccolis a little bit short or shorter, a little bit smaller pieces. But you do want to be careful because it is hot. Hi. All right, so tonight for dinner, we're going to have some omelets. We were supposed to have Western omelets, but I used up all of my diced ham in some broccoli soup. So I'm going to be using the Spores Head All-American Barbecue Chicken. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like, but we're gonna roll with it. Uh, in my skillet, I have my ghee. This is what I use so that it doesn't um, stick or anything whenever I'm flipping it. You could either use ghee, uh, ghee is clarified butter, so you could either use that or just regular butter, melt some butter in there. I find that that works a lot better than actual cooking spray. That's my opinion. I've used cooking spray. I've done it with butter. I feel like it does better with, with a lot of butter in it. And so in my bowl, this is going to be Jason's omelet for when he gets home. I have three eggs and I like to use the heavy cream. It just makes it a little more fluffier than just regular milk. And in my omelet, I will use American cheese, but Jason prefers shredded cheddar cheese. I don't like cheddar cheese in it because it's stringy. So I like my cheese to be creamy. So that's why I use American cheese. And then I also made some cinnamon rolls. I actually made these so that the girls can have them for breakfast in the morning. All I'll have to do is just heat them up and that's what they'll have for breakfast. Maybe I'll do some bacon or something. Um, I think Amelia's going to have one for dessert when she's done with her dinner. She's not having an omelet. She wanted some leftovers that I had in the refrigerator. Um, the pasta and taco meat stuff that I made, but she wanted some of that. So my ghee is heating up and I will start making the omelet. Now, as you can see, I am no professional on making omelets. This, I like to peel the sides and then kind of tip it over so that the rest of the egg on top kind of gets under there and will start cooking as well. And like I said, I am not a very good omelet maker, especially when it comes to flipping it. But 
you know what, it is what it is. It all tastes the same, <laughs> whether it's pretty or not. So now I'm just adding on that chicken and the cheese, and then I'll flip it over again, just so that top of the cheese will get nice and melted. And there you go. I got it a little browner than what I like, but it's still good. Okay, so update on what it tastes like with the chicken. It's very good. My husband actually wanted another omelet, but he's going to finish up Bella's because she couldn't eat all of it. But it's really good. I never thought an omelet with chicken in it would be good, but that tastes pretty darn good. And like I said earlier, it's the Boar's Head All-American Barbecue Chicken. Very tasty. So that concludes this week's What's for Dinner. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tap on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.